Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Uncle Trent. Today we're getting wild and crazy with some wildflowers using one simple, cheap and easy 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch flat wash brush. Yep, this little thing made all this. Yep. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Uh, my watercolors, Cadmium Yellow Deep, Peacock Blue, Conacridum Magenta, and my palette here, my paper towel, my water jars, and the one brush we're going to use today, which I, I don't even know where I found this brush. It's a 3 8 inch wash brush by Princeton. Look at that. So you can see that. Maybe it's not focusing. There it is. It's a small little, see my fingers? Isn't my fingers aren't that clean, but my nails need to be manicured. But it's the size of my nail to give that perspective and we're going to just play with this so you should just try and do th this one i'm trying to tell you guys just take some of your brushes i know it's expensive to use this paper to play with but i'm going to do it for you so you don't have to do that <laughs> uh, take the yellow gonna grab some of that peacock blue and get that green color going it's a bright color wash it down so with the flat brush you can do many different things i'm going to show you obviously hold it this way upward you just go and make those strokes for, for stems I'm gonna take some off get it a little skinnier that woohoo you see how you're having fun already right and then for leaves well how are you gonna hold it for a leaf you can still hold it up right but push it and go like that down and go like that. There's some leaves, right? With this simple little cheap flat wash brush, make some more stems. And right down the middle. And again, the leaves can be different. Can be like that. Little spiky leaves. Right. Holding it this way, that's how you can make little rounded type leaves. If you want to do that, I'm going to add some blue over here. So you can get a darker green, add a little bit of that magenta. Ooh, makes it purple. And then you go back in and you grab some yellow. And it's brown, and then you have blue, and you get the green again. Deeper green. A little water. Keep adding a little more blue. And I'll add a touch in the magenta. Just a touch. And there we go. Then you get this deeper darker green and it's pretty concentrated how I painted that right see well, it's not going to bleed as much again I'm using it upright like that I'm just making these simple stems you want to play with the brushes that's how you get used to using them and again with the leaves, just holding it like that on an angle. So let's get some flowers in there, right? Maybe do some purple flowers. I ran out of my um, below. I'll have to put some down over here. I need a bigger palette, don't I? I'll do some purple ones. I haven't done purple in a long. So you get that blue, we'll mix it with the magenta. We've got some nice pretty purple there. I'm gonna water that down. Might add a little more blue. If I want to take away this green, I can keep it in this one. So I've got that purple, a little more blue, blue purple. Clean off this brush. Get some water on this brush. Yeah, I like to dab it and see how bad it is. The color is too dark. Add more water. It's lighter. 
So let's try and play around with some flowers holding this brush. Let's see. I'm going to hold it at kind of an angle. I just push down like that. See? Then you get this normal type of petal. I don't know if it's normal, but holding it kind of on an angle. See how I'm holding that? And you manipulate the brush to make the flower that you want. Because you might say, oh, it's a flat brush. What am I going to do with this? I can only make rectangular flat shapes. Well, no, you can make these kind of shapes. And you can even make flowers that look like this. Little spikes. Right? Spiky type flowers. And then you can take your brush, take the water off of it. I mean, the paint off of it, get some water on it. Put some water next to it. It's a little too much water, but manipula you manipulate the, the flower just by dabbing the water next to it. So now it's softer. That, and you can just mop it up with the brush also, or your trusty paper towel. And you have this very soft, bleeding flower. But it's all from this one brush. Right? You have no clue what you could do with these brushes. Get some blue. You can make some little taking off the paint there. See, I'm just pushing that brush around. Look at that. And then grab, grab the purple and bleed it into that blue. You want to try and use a bunch of different variety of brushes. You don't know what you can get from this painting. Maybe grab a little more of the magenta. Make it a little pinker purple. Again with this little... Oh, that's a little too dark. Take off some of the paint. You can make those spikes. These kind of look like asters, right? Just going around like that. Turning the brush around. Then you have those pretty little asters that come out. And you could take the little concentrated purple and just take it on the end of the tip of the brush and there you go, you fill it in like that. Just want to show you how you can use brushes so many different ways. Even though it's a flat brush, look at all the different types of shapes of flowers we created already. Right? I'm going to add some more of these pretty color fuchsia. I'm just putting some blobs and marks. Nothing specific. Going back over to the other one. Just want to manipulate the brush. See? Do these little delicate flowers just like that on the side. Dabbing it like that on the side. And we've created this really simple floral. Do a bigger flower. See, I'm pushing it this way. Almost like a, I wouldn't call it daisy, but kind of in that vein. You can move it around like this. Again, get that darker concentrated color right in the circle just by holding it on its side I'll probably do one more of those flowers because I like to do things in threes just put it right on top of that green and I'm just going to keep filling in where I think it should go colors blues, purples, pinks. 
going to be having fun with this just by using this one brush. And I'll go in here and I'll add a little center to that one. But see how simple that was? Might go back in here. See, I made that green a little brown by adding that purple. And I'm going to go in and add another stem. Just simple. Holding it on that angle. And then going in again with the paint. Oops, getting a little too muddy. <laughs> I'm just pushing that around on the side of the brush. And up in here. Just having fun with the brush. Be one with the brush. And then you can go in and you can still, with this one brush, <laughs> I'm not kidding, take it, like you know me, my splatter. And you can splatter with this brush. You could do everything with this one little brush. You think you can't, but you can. I'm going to grab some of that blue, make another bright green here, and you could add in some yellow flowers too, and some more leaves, it just needs a little more. So it's a little crazy and wild that I've created here. And I'm just playing and playing. And that's the whole point of watercolor. So you want to play. See, I'm just manipulating this and fastly putting in some and if you want oops, <laughs> excuse me, to add some yellow flowers, you can do that too. little delicate flowers coming out of here up over in here see I'm just holding on side just going up like that really kind of simple throw some in here yellow and purple are complementary colors so they look nice together And you could put some daisies just by manipulating that brush like I showed you earlier. And splatter if you want. But there you go. I mean, many ways to hold the brush, to use the brush to make the flowers um, the way you want it to. I might want to put like a little. I feel like it's going to have some fatter leaves. Too many thin leaves. I need some fatter leaves, you know? Don't leave out the big guys. You can also manipulate it by spraying with the spray bottle and having the colors blend and bleed. One brush, three colors of paint, create a fun, loose watercolor. Now this got all muddy with the blue. And I do want to add some more blue. Look at the pink. More bluish purple. I feel like it's, it needs something in here. 
We just play around. See, I'm just holding it on side and dabbing in the paint. I'm not doing anything spectacularly different and unique. And that's how you get the simple wildflower madness <laughs> that I've created. See, I'm getting a darker purple in here. Mixing the magenta mm -hmm. and the purple blue. And up in here. And I'll splatter some of that too. You can use a hand or on the brush. want to have fun on Saturday and you might want to splay out the green as well why leave the green out don't be one left out and there you go guys the simple little nothing flat wash brush created this craziness <laughs> I don't know why this brush is over here, sorry. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this wild and crazy silly Saturday tutorial. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up, and also check out my Patreon. I have exclusive videos over there and downloads, and I have sketch downloads that go with some of my YouTube tutorials, so go check that out. Uh, it, the link is in the description box and on my about page. So take care guys, have a fantastic weekend, I'll speak to you soon.